Hello and welcome to the third episode of Jack the Ripper, The Suspects. In this episode, we will be talking about Walter Sickert. Walter Richard Sickert was born on the 31st of May 1860 in Munich, Germany, to parents Oswald and his wife Eleanor. Around 1868, the Sickert family moved to England. Walter Sickert attended University College School in London from 1870 to 1871. After this date, he was transferred to the King's College School in Wimbledon, where he stayed until he was 18 years old. His father Oswald and his grandfather were both painters, so the family thought that Sickett would join this profession. Unfortunately for his father, Walter Sickett wanted to be an actor. He appeared in small roles, but nothing which gained him any popularity. By 1881, he returned to school to study art. The Slate School in which he attended for less than a year was based in London. When Sickett left the Slate School, he found himself a job working for James Abbott McNeil Whistler, where he became his assistant. Sickett became a famous actor and travelled the world with his most famous pieces of work, one of them which was named Camden Town Murder. This was an actual murder which happened in Camden, London on the 11th of September 1907. The painting shows a nude woman laying on a bed and a man perched on the side of the bed with his head hanging down. When it was first released, it was named What Shall We Do For The Rent? While creating his own artwork, Walter Stickett found a job as a teacher at the Westminster School of Art. He founded this private art school in Rowlandson House on Hampstead Road. However, the school was closed four years later in 1914. It is claimed that Walter Sickett stopped drawing after a minor stroke in 1926. After this, he reverted to using his middle name, Richard. Walter Sickett died in 1942 at the age of 91 in Bath, Somerset. He was laid to rest near the Church of St Nicholas in Bathampton. Why was he a Jack the Ripper suspect? 1. He had a keen interest in the case and it seemed that he may have lodged in a room where the Ripper supposedly lived. Number 2. He painted a picture which was named Jack the Ripper's Bedroom. And some people think that only the Ripper knew what that looked like. Three, quite a lot of authors, especially Stephen Knight and Patricia Cromwell, believe that Sickett was the killer. Why he was not Jack the Ripper. Number one, author Patricia Cromwell is known to have spent thousands, if not millions of pounds, trying to prove to the world that Walter Snicket was Jack the Ripper. She was able to get her hands on some of the letters that apparently Jack the Ripper had wrote and did some DNA testing on it. Conwell stated that the DNA matched Snicket. However, in an article in the magazine named Science, it stated that many experts believed that the result is fake. Upon another analysis of the letter, it is claimed that the DNA could be from a woman. Number two. For approximately 80 years, there was no mention that Walter Snicket was ever a Ripper suspect. It wasn't until the 1970s that the people began to suspect him. Do I think that Walter Snicket was Jack the Ripper? It seems rather unlikely that he was Jack the Ripper, as he was not claimed to be a suspect until the 1970s. However, we do not know his whereabouts at the time of the murder, and we do know he was famous in his own right. He was an artist and he travelled the world spending a lot of time in France. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe to my channel. To read more about the Jack the Ripper case, buy my book In the Footsteps of Jack the Ripper on Amazon. The link is in the description.